Okay, so I just wanted to point something out real quick. I just made a six hundred dollar gaming PC on Amazon that I am willing to sell right now for six hundred and seventy five dollars. And in my opinion, that seems like a pretty fair deal. Seventy five dollar build fee, flat. Yeah, nothing else. Maybe you know, like shipping and stuff like that. Um, so it has a Ryzen five fifty six hundred G, sixteen uh sixteen gigabytes of RAM. And this pretty cool Antec NX260 RGB case. Um, I also added an additional air cooler in case if you want us to do overclocking. So on top of the $75 build fee, if you want overclocking, we can do minor overclocking to your processor or major overclocking as pro uh, to the, your processor. So minor overclocking, uh, we'll just turn on... P, uh, what's it called? Precision PBO for AMD. Precision boost overclocking. And we'll tweak some other settings for you. Do the RAM, stuff like that. If you want major overclocking, we'll tweak your processor to the max as much as it can handle. We'll tweak your RAM also as much as it can handle. And if you choose to take a GPU in your system, we'll, we'll overclock it here right now. So, it comes... Again, this air cooler with RGB, so you'll be able to hook it up all to your uh, motherboard, which is controlled via the software, uh, the Gigabyte RGB software. And yeah, that seems like a pretty good deal. If you look here on Amazon, just look up 5600G PC build, see what you get. So here, let's compare it to this, for example. Very good ratings, four out of five. I'm hoping I get like successful from this because if you put these side by side, one second. Uh, okay, if you put these side by side. Gotta fix this, sorry, this is taking long. All right, compare the specs. So it has a bit that what they have in common is that they both have a 5600G, right? Okay, moving on. This PC has 16 gigs of RAM, okay? That box is checked. Our PC has double the storage, so a 500 gig SSD as opposed to 256. We, um, our PC has a reliable motherboard besides this the problem with all these pre-builds is that it only comes with two ram slots and what that means is that there's no upgrade potential if you want to upgrade it you have to move the kit out and add a new kit in and it's really just annoying and it's a hassle you're gonna have to spend a lot more money than you really have to to upgrade this ram kit uh the case i don't really have any complaints about that uh but what is bad is these ketchup and mustard cables you don't want any of that in this power supply you go over to the images all black so you're not going to be having and it's a 30 percent price drop let's go uh you're not going to be having any issues or stuff like that with the power supply uh, in terms of colors and stuff so uh, an often misconception that people think is when there's like oh there's colors in this pc it must be very very good and no, that is very wrong because this PC has better specs than this. We have a normal cooler and everything. Right, so that's the difference. Our PC has more storage. Our PC has more value in general. It's just like a random OEM power supply that you've probably never seen, never will. And it's just not that great of a deal. I just... Airflow won't be a problem because this isn't necessarily like an extremely high-end build. But it is still a very good deal. So, yeah. Competing with this. I'm expecting to sell this PC a couple times. Yeah, so... What are the benefits again? If you want me, if you want me to recap, uh, aesthetics mainly. It has so first of all, it has more storage. The RAM is the same, which is good of them. They put sixteen gigs in. We have a 
uh, a third party cooler, which is better than the stock cooler that comes with it since we're gonna be doing overclocking for your build. As you can see, it's an OEM because um, the parts of the cable are like kind of clear. So that's not really good. They're not gonna hold up for long. This ASRock motherboard is two dim slots, so it's gonna make it really hard for upgrade up, upgrade compatibility. Um, our case, first of all, is mesh, so that means more airflow in general. You're gonna get better, more air into your system. Um, yeah, so also our motherboard has four dim slots. I'm not really sure what this, yes, and also our RAM is faster, which can make a pretty big difference if you ask me, especially with AMD systems. Yeah, so this is an A520, we have a B550. A520 is not a high-end chipset. I'm pretty sure you can't do overclocking on it, which is a bit of a bummer. And if you add all the parts up, I guess the one thing about this is that it comes with a keyboard and a mouse, which is a trading point for some people. So that's a membrane keyboard, definitely. Let's put in gaming. Let's see what we get. Yeah, yeah. So just like any, probably like the cheapest one, this one right here. I'm actually surprised to see it's 60% and just like any gaming mouse. Yeah, like a cheap one like this. This is the quality that you're going to expect with the mouse and keyboard that come with with um, these PC builds. They're not usually good. They're good to get you up and running. But even then, our PC is a better deal. Think about it. So let's pull up calculator here, right? Their build... 869.99 our build 619.92 that's a $250 difference and then we'll subtract 75 from this for the build fee that's a $175 difference and if you want major overclocking that's like the extreme subtract $20 or you know what I'll be fair. Let's do it 15. That's an even better deal for you guys. That's $160 in savings. You add that $160, you know what you can do with it. Put it towards a monitor. Yeah, so put it towards a monitor. Hi. Hello, I'm a little brother. So put it towards a monitor. Uh this PC, I would if I were you, this won't be doing crazy high refresh rate gaming. You'll be able to do Esports games, Valorant, Fortnite, and whatnot. Um, 1080p low to medium settings on most games. AAA titles, 1080p low. If you get lucky, you might have to lower the resolution. If you're not, yeah, if you're not lucky, you might have to lower the resolution. If you're lucky for some games, you could keep it at the same resolution. So that'll be 1920 by 1080. So yeah, $160 difference. First of all, you can get an actual. You know what? You know, you don't need a keyboard and mouse right away. These are okay for a while just to get you up and running. What you should get, as I said, a monitor. Gaming monitor, because we're gamers. I can't say. Gaming monitor. So yeah, really any of these. Uh, For $170, you could get this Spectre monitor a bit over, but it's... Yeah, so here, this is the perfect deal. Right here, this one. An AOC gaming monitor, 25 inch, uh, 1080p, one millisecond response time, 144 hertz, decent compatible. And this is a, I believe this is a VA panel. Yeah, oh, it's a TM panel. So that's a bit, let's see if we can find anything else that isn't a TM panel. This is actually a pretty decent monitor. Right there. Let's see what else we find though. I, I saw a bunch of options up top. Yeah, so I really feel like the Scepter monitor is a really good deal. But if you're really on a tight budget, you would go, if I were you, I would definitely choose this because it is 1080p. Uh, this is also not, if I find it, one second. Uh, so it has built in speakers. I'm not expecting them to be good, but it's always, that's always a nice feature to have. It has adaptive sync. 
Uh huh. Seventy five hertz. So that's good. Um, it doesn't say what type of panel it is necessarily, but I'm also assuming this might be a VA panel, which is a bit better than a TM panel. So this minus one thirty. You get a full gaming setup, and you still have thirty dollars left to spend. That seems like a good deal to me. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but if it was me, that would be that would be a pretty good deal, considering the fact that you have a PC and a monitor and a keyboard and mouse included. And like I said, you could bump this up a little. So subtract here. Clear this out. Uh, seven forty nine ninety minus one twenty nine. 98 minus 12.99 minus um 13.99 yeah so 529.94 was our original price without all of this and it, like i said if you guys want you could make this anywhere from 350 dollars to 700 dollars so say we could lower the price. I'm not always guaranteeing a 5600G for you guys, so you have to keep that in mind. As you go lower, 500, 600-ish is the lowest price you can get with the 5600G in your system. Unless, of course, if you get parts elsewhere, maybe you could find a good deal on Newegg or whatnot. And I could also still build that for you. I'll be looking on multiple um, online services for parts. So five ninety two ninety four. Let's reduce that by one hundred. Okay. Add one twenty nine ninety eight. No, not ninety five. Ninety eight plus uh thirteen ninety nine plus twelve ninety nine. That's six hundred forty nine dollars and ninety cents right there. That you could do for a full gaming setup. That's a bit cheaper. Uh. I feel, in my opinion, the best thing is to go with the $600 PC because it just gets you more performance overall because if you think about it, you have to reduce this to like an i3-10100. You will save a decent amount of money, but you're also sacrificing performance in the terms of integrated graphics because if you want us to do a build... GTX 1650, the lowest card you can get, like that's, yeah, so there, 324, you could, this could be in a $700 PC, that could be a good idea actually, I could put this in a $700 PC for you guys, just let me know what you think, I feel like this PC is a really good deal, and that GTX 1650 that I just showed you, you could uh swap out the 5600G and add in like an i3-10100, or like a newer 4 core 8 thread processor or even 6 core 12 thread if you if you have one in mind and put in the 1650 that could be a decent setup but you're also going to have to spend a good amount of money upgrading your monitor so that's going to be a bit more okay uh just let me just let me know what you guys think about this PC in the comments uh if you guys want me to build you a PC just I'll just uh, you know, I'll just comment you back, uh, telling me, and I'll have you tell me, like, what your budget is and whatnot for the PC and the full setup, and, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you liked it. Goodbye.